Hello, this is Toria, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for S. Byzantium. So, um, yeah, I didn't. I made a mistake. I didn't give a province to France, and now they have a massive modifier against us, which will prevent us from starting integrating them when we wanted to do it. I might actually need to hire the diplomatic uh, better relations of a time advisor to get rid of it quickly. And now we should probably start a war against somebody. Mm, 85. A war against somebody mm, somebody new. We could fight China or Qing or King, Qing and feed some to Perm before we can complete the annexation. And it will take a long time to complete the annexation. I think it might actually be a good idea to do it. Keeps our subjects occupied. Yeah, we don't even have to participate in the war. So what kinds of rebels are those? Some nationalists. Oh, Chagatai has rebels. Hmm. That's a problem. Okay, what if we declared war on you? Uh, we don't have a diplomat, let's wait a little while. What if we declared war on you? What would happen? We will fight Shan and Korea. Oh, take cores for Chagatai. Wonderful. Let's take Imperialism, because we take can take everything using it. But first, let's check on the disputed succession stuff. Portugal. Mm, do we still apply? Yes. Okay, so let's fight China. Mm, do we want to call Korea as co-belligerent or Shun? Shun. Do you have any allies? Ching, Chu, Wu. And Korea? Just Qing. Okay, so we'll declare war on Qing and call in Korea using the imperialism Cassus Belly. So, now our our vassals will do the job. We don't really have to participate. And yeah, that's it. Oh, I should have tried selling Samarkand first. Should have sold it to Perm. We can do it while at war. Well, I guess we can endure it for a little while longer. Yeah. Some new castles belly. And where is our fleet? The fleet is where it should be. Okay, we might get some nasty rebels in this region. Oh, and we might not. Oh right, I forgot. We also get some got some provinces here. Not that it really matters. But they too have some serious unrest. I really could use a theologian. Which province is that? Erzikan? Erzinkan? Where is that? Oh yeah, because we're converting. Yeah, that will go away quickly. Coring is happening slowly. What is that? Revolution. National unrest plus 10. Stability less than 3. Mm, yeah, we need to boost our stability. Although we might get an event because we have all um, all level three advisors, so let's let's wait for that to happen. And if it doesn't, we'll just boost it manually. We need to keep enough um, admin power to do it if it's necessary. Um, Bavaria, Portugal, still apply. Okay, our armies um, meant for defeating rebels are in place. Are we fighting? Who are we fighting? Let's check. We're fighting China, basically. North China. Manchuria. Okay, uh, well, I'm saying China because uh, Qing, or Qing, Qing is uh, essentially a Manchurian Chinese dynasty. So I think it qualifies as China, even though they are in Manchurian lands as well. All right. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we really need to participate in this. Let's just keep our subjects busy through this war. We'll feed Perm a little more, then when we finish annexation, the land will be ours. Could actually declare one Hejaz, because it's uh, such a nasty spot in our territory. So what I want to do before the end of the game is definitely annex our subject. Um, subjects. 
that it would also be nice to get Karaka Yunlu and Hajaz so that we look better. Also, Sibir. Sibir, why are we not annexing you? Let's declare war on Sibir. Is there anybody else here mm, that we want to fight? I don't think so. Okay, again, almost Captain Diplo, even though we are annexing Perm. Okay, the fleet should really go and pick up the rest of the troops that it's, it was supposed to deliver. So, you guys. And let's be friendly with France. It's really unfortunate that uh, we got this, neg this uh, negative thing we, mm, that we didn't give them occupied cores and claims. I did not think that it apply applies if they are our subject. But you learn something new every day. Oh, backward monarch pen penalty again. Yeah, they're doing everything they can to keep our relations low. But I'll get you, France. One day I'll get you. Hmm. What else should we do? No technology. Overextension is going down as it should. We could actually send our troops to speed up this war, but uh, we don't really want to finish it quickly. It's something we want to drag out a little bit so that our subjects are busy. Mm, yeah, let's get. Let's have a look at it and the unrest. Is it progressing? Zero progress. Okay. Does it not progress while we are at war? Or is it um, some other reason? I don't know. Okay, then. Um, let's have a look at our policies. We definitely want this one, but uh, we need to finish administrative ideas before we can do it. What about the others? Diplomatic reputation. Uh, could help us a little bit, but we don't want to spend Diplo power on such uh, relatively minor things. Infantry combat ability would actually be very useful. But again, our subjects are doing most of the fighting for us. What happened exactly? Did we kill you guys? Well, we killed some. Let's consolidate them into one army and then just wipe all the rebels. And Portugal still has the succession disputed. What about Bavaria? You do have an heir, so we don't need the marriage with you anymore. Yeah, France hates us, Portugal. Still a succession war between Spain and us. If we get that within the next 10 years, we might actually be able to annex Portugal if we get a personal union over them within this game. That would be huge if it happens. Okay, you guys are ready. Let's consolidate them. Yeah, kill some rebels. And then get back to your seat. And again, almost Captain Diplo. We should probably just go for the idea right now. Why not? The war score thing is also quite good. Especially since we are at war now, but we don't have to rush. Okay, subjects, are you doing the things that you were supposed to do? The Commonwealth is. And Perm is. Where is France? France, you disloyal... <coughs> uh, yeah, we don't like you, France. Maybe they are just getting their troops back from the military campaign they had. Okay, they are stuck here. They do have some transport ships, so I think those troops will get uh, where they're supposed to be quite quickly. We don't really want to send our own troops. We have no interest in end this, ending this war quickly. Although, with increased diplomatic reputation, that means that uh, annexation of Perm will progress quicker. So I might need to reconsider this, this aspect. You know what, let's send some troops. Just some. You guys. Will do nicely. Mm, do we need to split you? No. Let's just send you to siege some provinces. Just one by one. It will take a long time until you can get here. 
but you might come in handy when you are. Do we want prestige or admin power? We are maxed in prestige, so let's take admin power. Some more, and some more. Yeah, just distributing armies isn't very interesting, is it? Oh, and uh, yeah, Sibir is uh, fully occupied, so let's give them to Perm, so that Perm has something to do. Um, yeah, transfer control to Perm, and finish this. Give me money as well. Uh, can we actually build any unique buildings? That I might want to build. Yes, we can. Okay, so uh, that's actually an, um, quite a big omission on my part. First, admir admirality, navy tradition, and leaders without upkeep. The leaders without upkeep will help us. Mm, where is a good place for admir for an admirality? Maybe let's build it in Rome, and the grain depot in our capital, and the march in where should we build a march? What is a, which one is a place that is likely to stay bordering somebody for a long time? Okay, um, Constance is actually bordering a lot of people, so let's do it. And I think that's it. Tax Assessor. Oh, we don't have enough technology, of course, for automatic inflation reduction. It would be nice to get to level 29 administrative technology. Okay. And our subjects are actually doing quite a lot in this war. Yeah, we'll be able to feed Perm and Chagatai quite, quite extensively. Although I think those are Chagatai's cores, aren't they? Yes, so feeding Perm might not be the best idea, because um, why should we? It's... it's Chagatai's cores. Hmm. Still haven't decided. Is this one Chagatai's core? Yes, it is. So we would have to give them um, two of Chagatai's provinces, and then we can feed them Northern Qing. I think that's actually quite a decent idea. Okay, some cores have been acquired, and we lost an advisor. Hmm. Discipline, sure. Can we get a diplo rep guy? We can, but uh, the relations thing is also helping us. Hmm. Okay, cores have finished. Let's have a look at overextension. It's 29%. Okay, not everything has finished. But what we can do is start converting. Shouldn't we get a colonial nation quickly? Um, quickly, shortly, is what I mean. In the near future. Maybe not. We actually need, uh, need colonial ideas to get colonial nations. Okay, we did get colonial nation. Do we want to name it the Greek Brazil? Or do we want to name it something else? Yeah, and Greek doesn't work for me. Let's call it Byzantine Brazil. It's quite generic, but uh, yeah, we don't need fancy na fancy names. Mm. Is this a different colonial region, or why are, are you not getting this province from me? Right. Um, what religion are you? Are you my religion? Yes, you are. Good. Imperialism against... Oh! Ming formed. Reformed, rather. Where is that? Where did Ming reform? Here somewhere? Ah, let's, not, let's not worry about that. Okay, subjects are doing a good job. We can abandon this part of the world now. Do some converting. Converting. Come on. And we are still... What? We don't control and own? Did somebody take our province? What was the name? Sokota. Soko... 
Ora? We do not control. Oh, here, of course. Those damn rebels. Okay. Mm. Oh, our ships are actually taking a transition? No, they're not. We'll use them to take care of those damn rebels. I could actually build the Suez Canal, couldn't I? Or do I need a special DLC to do it or something? How do you do that? Mm. Is it a decision, maybe? Let's have a look at our possible decisions. Construct the canal. What do we need? Has at least all the money in the world. Well, I guess we could. We do have the necessary provinces. Hmm. Oh, that's a problem. We don't have any any army there. We could take this one. Where are the ships? Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, next military level, of course. And Portugal still doesn't have an air, so we might actually be able to get a union over Portugal. And we might even benefit from it, if we get it quickly. France. Mm, still dislike us, but not as much. We are getting the bonus for being in the same war, though. So, yeah, the gift gives the same amount. We still need 40 more relations with you. Hmm. All right, then. Oh, we have some rebels here. Let's take care of them. We don't want any trouble. Why did you not transfer? Oh, they're probably a different region. We don't mind. Okay, you guys get on the boats, and the boats will mm, make you fight some rebels. Oh, France is actually taking care of that. Okay, actually, French colonial nation. If we can annex France, we'll get a lot of colonial stuff as well. Hmm. And we do have a free diplomat. We haven't improved relations with Great Britain for quite a long time. Let's do it. Oh, they have a Regency Council. There will be opportunity if we can get their dynasty. But... Hmm. But, yeah, they, they it will be difficult to siege them because um, they have a large fleet, a really, really large fleet. See here, almost 300 ships. And yeah, we can't control this. Oh, a child in the reeds. Uh, five for two with a weak claim. Mm, but we do want to get a random noble because we wanted a dynasty. This child would child would be quite good, but but I think I do want a random noble from this dynasty. It might come back to bite me in the ass. Because um, the 542 is not a backward monarch, so we wouldn't be getting this nasty penalty with France. No, let's not do it. If he was better in stats, I would probably accept it. A 666 or something, yeah, sure. Like that's going to happen. Mm. Administrative. We can actually take administrative technology or an administrative idea. I think we are going to take an administrative idea because I do want to finish this idea group quickly. And I was considering taking the diplomatic advisor with uh, diplomatic reputation. But that might make me an expert a bit too quickly. And I still want to feed them and give them the opportunity to um, core the promises we give them and to get the policy that reduces diplomatic annexation cost before all that happens. Hmm. Okay, um, so our armies here aren't really doing anything. Let's select them and get some northern stuff. 
we'll be feeding that to uh, what you call um, a perm, yeah. I think at least. Uh, take whatever you can. Perm and chagatai. Hmm, might actually take the province war score thing. That will let us take more land from them. Although I don't think it's uh, a very wise thing spending diplo power and that we will need a lot to annex France and the Commonwealth. Come on France, like us. Like us again. We're such a good team. That is until we can finally um, eat you up. Sweden, how are you doing? Nothing special happening here. Nothing here. Right, some random army scattered about. Okay, everything seems to be fine. We could actually go for Hejaz now. I do want to just annex them. And Alodia. Let's get a diplomat. We don't need to improve relations with Great Britain anymore. We're going to declare war against Alodia and conquer some of them and all of her jazz. Maybe you would accept vassalization now, you're too big. Oh, you're Muslim? I thought you were Coptic. Okay. Yeah, Hejaz and imperialism. Claim on Spain. And some sieges. You will go... where should we send you? Here, maybe? Oh, Spain is actually taking land in this region. And a lot of it. Hmm. Alright, and we are, have attacked Elodia. Mm, do we have any other disposable forces in this area? We actually attack Delhi again. Afghan nationalists have taken over. Have taken over. Mm, yeah. I mean, this army will be enough, but uh, it would be nice to just have more troops doing it. It will be quicker. For now, you take care of Hejaz. Where are our ships? Okay, the rebels are taken care of. Yes, yeah, so, so what we'll do is we're going to send you to this tiny island over here. Then you're going to kill the damn pretenders that have been here for a hundred years or more. And then go to Elodia and conquer them. I'm not sure I want this. How much are we spending on annexing per, per month? Show me. Per, 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 annexation. Seven power a month. Yeah, so that basically cancels out our growth. And the free military leader. Well, actually, we are past the date that we could start integrating France. Let's have a look at what the... Mm, yeah, <laughs> chance of uh, Byzantium inheriting France, minus 51%. Not going to happen. So integration is the only option. Portugal still no air, and we still no air. I mean, we could get the child in the reeds, but um, low, stabil uh, low legitimacy and so on. Okay, go kill them. Oh, right, we'll finally get Mecca, which means even more precision missionaries. Not that we need it. Yeah, they're dead. Now go siege Elodia. Where are those ships? I hope they don't die on the way. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the colonial thing. Yeah, the annexation of Perm is going to take quite a while. We should actually start annexing Chekatai as well, relatively soon. I think I should just improve relations with them while we can. I mean, Chekatai is relatively small, it will go quickly. But we can still feed them. Oh, rebels have killed our people. Really? Rebels? Was that Bu Buryatia? Nationalists? Okay, 
we have a lot of troops and infinite manpower so it's not a problem I mean I could be more efficient but um, I really am in no rush to finish this war we do want to stay at war for quite a long time so that uh, France is uh, let's say pacified yeah this is taking down too too slowly come on king die I need a better monarch I am aware that I'm kind of rolling the, the dice on that let's have a look at Elodia okay we don't want to split you too much because they do have a sizable army even though they're um, lower technology than us so let's just split you into two no more and here in the meantime let's wait for our ships to get in place I mean their army is south but they could have another one they're quite sizable all right Portugal? Still no air, I think. Or a weak one. I would welcome a succession war over Portugal right about now. It could take us about five years to do it, and then we would be able to maybe integrate Portugal before the end of the game. Or not. I mean, it's a possibility. Still, personal unions are very nice. No chance. Uh, no chance, I mean, no change here. Prestige maxed, legitimacy maxed, stability almost maxed. And the revolution is not progressing, which is, I guess, good. Yeah, this Samarkand province is actually causing us some trouble, but soon Pan will be annexed and we'll be able to core it finally. And so will be Chagatai. Okay, let me just uh, pause for a little bit. Chagatai. Those, all of those are your cores. But I would like to grow Perm. Meaning that I should give those two to Perm and the rest to you. So, definitely. I mean, I'm not sure about the other ones, but those definitely go to Chagatai. Let me just have another look at what your cores are. Those and those. Okay. Oh, you actually took it for yourself. Give everything to Chagatai. And those are poor provinces, so the war score will be relatively low. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, we don't have a free diplomat. Hmm, doesn't matter. I guess we could take the one from the Commonwealth, because they seem to like us. They seem to like their Byzantine overlords. Alright. Perm is huge. But so are we, of course, but we'll be, we will look prettier when we take them over. Siege of Berber. Okay, oh damn it, you're so bad. Zero admin. I did say that it could come to bite us in the ass. Looming disaster, civil war. Looming disaster, internal conflicts. Yeah. Um... Yeah, go on and die, king. Zero admin, really? I should have taken the child into Reed's event, really should have. Okay. King, you'll be responsible for the seeing army. Go on and die. And we lost the siege. Great Britain wants a royal marriage, yes. You want to get a personal union over us because... Mm, because we are fighting a war but we could get one over you do you actually want to claim the throne of Great Britain I mean it could be impressive still annexing France should take precedent siege of uh, Kasr Ibrim yeah I guess you can advance. Lodia, what's your total mm, total war score? 156%. Okay, they're actually moving to intercept our troops. So let's just keep you with the king, which we hope dies quickly because he's crap. 
Really, really crap. Zero Diplo. I'm sorry, zero admin. Really. Should have taken child in the reeds. But, as a Polish saying says, mm, you, uh, everybody is wise after the fact. In, or in hindsight, if you prefer. Oh, Castilian Brazil has declared war on Byzantine Brazil. Really? Okay, Byzantine Brazil, you go and get some mercenaries. Let's send them a gift. Mm. Come on, diplomat. Let's send them a gift. You go get some mercenaries. Knock yourself out. Just don't call us in. See you, Wadi Harfa. Kangra, where is Kangra? Here. Hmm. Minor. Although, they have no allies and they are adjacent to our vassal, I guess it could be a good idea to attack them. No, they, they have an army. They don't have allies, they have an army. And I was not paying attention. I think we can wipe them with our general, I mean our king, with his five shock. Yeah, sure. Our technology is so much superior to them. Come on, king, die. Should we just chase them? Give him a bigger chance to die. Zero. Zero admin, really. <laughs> and the disasters are actually progressing quite significantly. We do need a theologian or stability three. Um, no, th no theologians. We don't want that much diplomatic reputation. Go, go on and chase them. Okay, Hejaz can actually be a next now, probably, unless they are unwilling because ally in a war. Yeah, they are unwilling. A pity, but not to be... Uh, I mean, nothing to worry about. Speaking of which, we should probably decide what we're going to take. We're going to take um, quite a lot of land, but how much exactly is yet to be decided. Oh, we're fighting Shun as well. Is this a Chagatai core? Yes, it is. And this is not a Chag... Is it? Yes, it's a Chagatai core. Okay, so we're going to take all the Chagatai cores we can. And more. Was that... Taozo... Mm. Okay, that might actually be enough. Okay, let's just prepare a peace deal so we know what we're going to need. Give all of this to Chagatai. And this will go to... Mm, um, and some more north. Probably. Did I miss any of the Chagatai cores? I think I did miss one. Okay. And then we can declare we're an oil rat. Just fill, fill this up. Korea, would you accept being an, a vassal of ours? Protectorate. Interesting. So we can actually annex them. We can actually annex Korea. Would we be able to core you? No, we wouldn't be able to core you. So this is a dumb idea. Let's not annex Korea. What else should we do? <laughs> I mean, we do need our king to die, really. He's so bad. I did hope for at least a dec decent one. But we do have the right dynasty now. Although a, a regency council would really screw us over. So maybe it's a good, a good thing that we didn't take the child in the reeds because we would be locked in the regency council for the next, um, what, 12 years? I think that's how long ago that happened. 
I think that would be 12 more years. Which is unacceptable in our position. Okay, come on, chase them. Kill the king, I mean our king. It's a pity you can't do any assassinations in this game. It really is. For example, in instigate a plot against your, ru your own ruler, uh, admin. Zero admin. <laughs> then we can change our focus. Yeah, let's go with admin. That actually equalizes it a little bit. And if France had a backward ruler pen uh, penalty, then what is it going to be now? I mean, the, the penalty is the same, but still. How are you a competing great power? I'm so much more powerful than you. Well, maybe when we annex Perm that will change. <laughs> How are we at only 13% war score? How is it possible? Okay, our forces are actually not doing anything. Let's keep sending you. Mm, why should we do send you? Oh, that's a different country, sure. Just siege all you can. The, the colors are so similar that I should probably be using the diplomatic mode instead. Oh. No, right? Just wherever. We will probably need to get 100%. Well, not 100%. We'll need to at least siege most of it. Right, um, Hajaz, we want to annex you. Are you willing? You're not willing. Never mind then. We'll just go on and siege some stuff. So, one, two, and the other numbers as well. I feel like Sesame Street will sending those troops. Alright. And yeah. Oh, and our troops are ready to fight the rebels, finally. Get us some religious unity. I think I'll just assault to make it quicker. Come on. They have virtually no troops. Assault. Just 1,000. Mm, and we're going to convert you quickly that will finally give us religious unity I think and don't you have a mission to do it yes we do and we can take another admin idea mm. although we are about to annex Hejaz no let's take an admin idea we'll get enough power to and the core Hejaz when we annex them. You guys get on the boats, get back on the boats rather, and go see some Elodia. In the meantime, let's see what's happening in the east. Mm, nothing too interesting. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're going to lose that. I did not prevent it in time. Not that it matters, really. Maybe we could actually salvage it. Go on. Let's try. Let's at least try. We are technologically superior, but I didn't think we are so superior. We actually are. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, what did just happen? Looming disaster. We cannot allow those to happen. Mm -hmm. Less legitimacy, too much autonomy, have regency, no, no, no. Yeah, we do need to reduce our unrest. I might even go to mm, more stability just in, just for that. Mm -hmm. Revolution in Castilian La Plata, really? Interesting. Oh, Portugal no longer has disputed succession. Let me have a look. Yeah, they just got an heir. Which is unfortunate. 
I was hoping for a union over them. Right, what else, what else? We are still improving relations with France, which is what we need to be doing. We could make Korea our protectorate. Do we need a protectorate, though? I wonder, could we make Qing our protectorate? I mean, we can't annex a protectorate, but... Um, Byzantine vassal. No, they are a vassal. So, not going to happen. Although Korea might be the good might be might be the good choice. Would you be willing to accept that? No, you wouldn't. So let's forget about it for now. Worry about sieging the provinces we want to siege and finding a way to avert disasters and annex France. Probably should have taken the child in the Rees event, but yeah, everybody's wise in hindsight. New monarch and perm doesn't concern us in the slightest. Mm, no theologian. Level 3 diplo rep guy is actually what we need, but... Uh, ah, yeah, okay, let's do it. If we annex Perm too quickly, we'll just give the land to Chagatai. Perm, how much are we spending per month? Seven still. Alright, because our diplomatic reputation has gone down due to low legitimacy, of course. Free, free military leader is not necessary at the moment. Mm, just checking. And Sweden doesn't have an uh, interesting... Don't we have the same dynasty? Yes! Yes, we do. Well, they are allied with Great Britain, though. Great Britain, would you join our war? Um, you wouldn't, because it's too distant. Hmm. Well, if we, ah, let's just get a get a royal marriage with Sweden, just to make sure that we don't lose the opportunity. If their king just dies, you know. Oh, still a succession war, even without the royal marriage. Well. Okay, let's get a royal marriage, make things stick. Hmm. Okay, Siege of Heijan. Let's send you guys uh, to Jan... No, that's not Janzu, that's uh, Yangzu. Yes, let's boost our stability. Okay, one, uh, one disaster has gone away. Plus two each month, really? Plus two. Lower admin did one and overextension at least ten percent. Okay, so Samarkand is actually screwing us over. If I can be blunt. If we don't feed the perm in this war. We could sell Samarkand to them. Hmm. We could just, I mean, form Timurids as a vassal. Maybe, maybe then abandon them and conquer them again at some point, just to get rid of, rid of this. Ching, I, I bet you probably want to accept a peace deal now. Not a, such a big one, but still a peace deal. Would you want one? You don't seem too eager. Right, let's just abandon those those plans. Get the cores only. Let's clear the offer. And what are your cores? Those two, and what else? Chagatai those. All right. Did I remember correctly? No, I did not. Mm, I think so. And so. And so. And so. I probably missed something. 
Let's just make sure. I don't think I missed some missed anything. Another look. We did. We did miss this one, I think. Check again. Yeah, no, it's not their core. This one is though. You would not accept. But if we left this province out, oh, it's quite a high war score cost. Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is is hmm, I can't decide. Do I want to feed Perm or not? I mean, I guess we could let this war go on for a little while. Yeah, let's do it. Can we handle a civil war? National unrest plus 10. We have nice um, unrest reduction due to religious tolerance. But if we get some legitimacy events, that will actually be fixed. We have achieved religious unity. Do we have any interesting missions? Improve relations with Bavaria. Establish Byzantium and despise islands. Get presence in India. Oh, we should actually be improving relations with our other vassal. If we want to annex them as well. Okay, everybody wants a peace deal with us. Maybe you should, we should actually sign one, listening to the people and all. Yeah. You know what, we'll decide in the next episode, because this one has mm, has gone for quite a long time. So thank you very much for watching. Rem remember to like and subscribe if you did like the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.